You know, who would have thought that something can affect your life without you having a clear memory of it? So when I was three years old, um, I lived back in Ukraine and I'm the youngest out of 10, so it's a big family. So we grew up in Ukraine and I was around three years old and we were all having a family dinner. So great time, you know, having a good time. Thought it was a normal day. My parents thought it was a normal day. But, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Um, so everyone finished dinner, and I was the last one at the table, of course, just trying to eat. And my dad's rule is you don't get you don't get up until you finish. So I finally ate everything, and then my dad told me to um, drink some tea before I left the table. So I looked around, and I was looking for a tea, some tea, which is usually ready on the table, but I couldn't find any. So, I took a little chair, I saw a tea kettle, hot water, on the stove, so I was excited to make myself some tea. So I got the chair, moved it up to the stove, and was going to grab myself some hot water. So I went up, took the tea kettle, and it just got boiled, so it was super hot. And then all of a sudden, I'm on the floor, screaming, and just screaming and yelling and the, all the water just spilled on me and it was just crazy. My brother Paul just runs in and grabs me, my dad runs in. Everyone's devastated. So they took me, they grabbed me and it was winter so I was wearing a lot of um, sweaters and they just grabbed me and put me in the cold water and the steam just like went through me kind of. It, did, it wasn't evaporating. So when they took off my clothes, all my skin just came off with it. My whole face, everything was burnt. So my mom went, ran, called for help. Everyone's crying, my siblings are crying. And then the ambulance came about half an hour later. And I just went in the ambulance with my mom and they took me in and the doctors have no idea what to do with me. They've never seen anything so bad. So they just put me in the hospital. First day goes by, second day goes by. Everyone's devastated. My name was known in America, in Ukraine, and everyone was praying for me. And then in the hospital, second day, my, doc my doctor just comes up to my parents and they, they decided, Call your whole family, she won't survive. So, everyone just lost hope, but they kept on praying, and my whole family came to the hospital, and they're just waiting for me to take my last breath, and my dad just told me how I breathed, I was like, <laughs> and I was, you know, dying. But, guess what? A day went by, a second day went by, the doctors are running around crazy and I'm just getting better but worse. No one knows what's really ha what's happening really. So weeks went by and I was losing so much blood. My dad had to um, give me blood every day and day by day I just got better and my face was all black and my dad would just peel my skin off on my face and now my skin on my face is gray, and guess what? The Lord saved me, and now I'm here today, and God, only God, He helped my family overcome. I don't know what they went through, probably craziness, but only God helped us overcome, helped my family, helped my relatives, and now to this day, God helps me overcome with me just having scars on my hands. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. And it's only because God helped me overcome. So I've, I've been a Christian my whole life. And I was, I was born into a church. But I, like a lot of kids that are born into churches, I kind of took it for granted. And I left for a good amount of time. It wasn't. It wasn't until probably my 
for, I want to say my freshman year in high school that I really started getting involved. But even then, it was still like off and on. It was still really jumpy and I was jumping around everywhere. Really roller coaster, you know. And, um, and then, like a lot of stuff happened and then I hit my rock bottom. And for some reason, that's what it takes for a lot of people is for them to hit the rock bottom to really find, try to look for Christ. But that's what it took for me. And pretty much, I was, I hated everybody and everything. I was out doing whatever I wanted. I didn't listen to my mom, just all this horrible stuff. And um, one day me and a couple of my friends were hanging out at a park and these two ladies came up to us and they asked us to go to this church outreach thing. And it, I didn't really know what to expect of it because like I said, I was a Christian my whole life, so I was just like, oh, it's just another one of these church things. It's gonna be so dumb. I don't wanna do this. But, so my friend was like, oh, I know the church, let's go. So we went, and I don't, I don't know what it was, but when I was there, like, I had all this freedom, and I could do whatever I want, whatever I wanted. My mom gave up on me. I was, I was my own man, I was free according to what I thought. But going back to church after not being at it for so long, because I, like I said, I hit rock bottom and I dropped it completely. But after going to there and just realizing everything that I could have had, everybody was so happy and everybody was just, it's like they, it's like they were happy to live. And, and something hit me.